and you know the space force kind of gets a bad rap it's kind of a, a shiny new object with a fun name but it's really important it's, it's a space for all of u.s military space to come together it puts all the operations together um, so it really has an important part in our military space is so important in our missions going forward and so the space force is really going to hit its stride and it will be a really critical part of our military the most recent hubbub about the space force revolved around the location of the command hq uh, a lot of people figured it would stay in colorado springs the trump administration announced right before it left office that uh, the command would uh, stand up in Huntsville, Alabama because of the other uh, space operations that are there. Is that such a big deal in the context of overall what the Space Force needs to accomplish in the next year to five years? Yes, but that's actually the Space Command, which is a little bit separate, but it is a really big issue. Um, you know, the Air Force in the past had kind of um, hinted that they would recommend Colorado to continue to be the base. Um, it's been it's been pretty controversial in the space community, and some of the other states like Colorado and New Mexico have actually um, you know filed and for an investigation into the selection process because they don't believe that they know everything that happened that went into that decision. So I think that's actually one of the first things that we'll possibly see a Biden administration tackle is to have another look at this decision and really, you know, help people understand or maybe even repeal it and pick a different place to go forward. Over at the White House, Press Secretary Jen Psaki seemed to chuckle when asked about the Space Force. He asked whether the president has made a decision on keeping or keeping the scope of Space Force. Wow, Space Force. It's the plane of today. Um, it is an interesting question. Congressman Mike Rogers of Alabama, for one, didn't appreciate her tone and called on Saki to apologize for appearing to blatantly diminish an entire branch of our military as the punchline of a joke, which I'm sure China would find funny. We wanted to be inclusive. We wanted to hear from you. We collected thousands of ideas. We also wanted things to have a modern fit but have lasting relevance. We wanted gender neutral ranks. Um, we wanted our ranks to speak to our human capital strategy, to our mission. We wanted them to be descriptive. We wanted them to be mission focused and we wanted them to be open ended for our future. The top Republican on the House Armed Services Committee is asking you to apologize for some of the comments that you made yesterday in the briefing room about the Space Force. Will you apologize? I did uh, send a tweet last night, you may not all be on Twitter, maybe they're not on Twitter, that said we invite the members of Space Force here to provide an update to all of you on all of the important work they're doing and we certainly look forward to seeing continued updates from their, uh, from their team. But, uh, big picture here, I mean, does the Space Force have the full support of the Biden administration or is the president at some point perhaps going to try to get rid of it or in some way diminish it? Uh, they absolutely have the full support of the Biden administration um, and uh, we are not revisiting the decision to establish the Space Force. Uh, the desire for the Department of Defense to focus greater attention and resources on the growing security challenges in space has long been a bipartisan issue informed by numerous independent commissions and studies conducted across multiple administrations and thousands of men and women proudly serve in the space force as you know it was established uh, by Congress and any other steps would actually have to be taken by Congress not by the administration you say General Raymond has said the Space Force plans to triple its size in 2021 that sounds to me like a force that's operating under the assumption that they're moving full speed ahead, right? Yeah, absolutely. You know, the Space Force isn't going anywhere, although it does have its critics. You know, it was mandated by Congress that it stood up. It would take an act of Congress to take it away. Um, so the Space Force really is moving full force ahead. And you know, right now, the Space Force has a lot of people who have come over from the Air Force. And so that tripling in size will include more people from the Air Force and will include people from the Army and the Navy and other branches of the military. The Space Force, doing what's already being done. That Space Force, promise is red tape for everyone. Rip the Air Force apart and make NASA
Thank you very much. Tip your service. Space Force. It's the plane of today. Um...